Operation date, it's Tuesday now. Just got to the hospital. Yeah. I feel a bit deflated, eh? Just... Don't know how much more of this I can take, eh? Just gotta keep tracking on. Did you, did you enjoy it? Yeah, I enjoyed it. Me it too. Was... Do you feel refreshed? Yeah. Adrenalist messaged me and was like, oh, we would love to use this footage. I was like, well, ask my husband. I, I now understand like why, why people don't say they're struggling because there's judgment on the other end. Bye, darling. Bye. Operation date. It's Tuesday now. Just got to the hospital. Just waiting for the nurses now. See how we go. So, I feel a little bit deflated. Eh? Just... Alright. Let's get this done. And then uh, I'll go from there. Yeah, I just came in, took my blood pressure and all that, the nurses. Um, got my um, socks on. Yeah, it's the waiting game now. It's uh, another hour to my op. <sighs> just finished. Starving, hungry. The leg is aching a bit, but nah, not too bad. Don't know, I'll staying overnight, so it's about 20 past seven. Visiting hours finish at 7 30, so Sandra's and the kids trying to gas it here to try and sneak in a few snacks. I know I'll be hungry later. I haven't eaten since last night. Yeah, so. Here's the finished product. Don't know how much more of this I can take, eh? Just gotta keep tracking on. Be bit of soup. Uh, I think it's a uh, baked potato and bolognese. A bit of salad. Some cheese. A bit of yogurt. Some bread. Water, potato, just had some food, a little, little baked potato and all that, but wifey went and uh, snuck in some contraband. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Come on, man, give me a chance. Give me a chance to lift my soul. 
that's what this oh plus I haven't eaten since last night and it's bloody eight o'clock at night the next day you know when you get put to sleep you don't want to have any accidents during the off you know you don't want to have to go to the toilet during so I just take no risks you don't want to be that guy she got tata all over the operation table <laughs> so, a little Hi, away. I woke up and it's uh, snowing, brass. It's nice, nice. I'll take it as a sign. But uh, I got woken up. Surgeon came in just to check up. See everything went well and. Just wanted to catch up before he gets on with his uh, job today. But breakfast is here. Tee! I got a few croissants, some yogurts and stuff. Some fruits. I don't know if you can see the, the fruits in there. But this is what I'm talking about, eh? Oh, wow. Tee! A little orange juice. A cup of tea. Guy time. All done, ready to check out. The nurse came with my uh, meds and my forms and all that. Got to be in this cast for two weeks. And then uh, that moon boot there. For another six weeks. Then back to walking. Then back to running. I feel like my heart is like, you need, this is what you've been missing. This wow. is So Willis just got home from um, his op today. Church has been fasting for three days. The first day the focus was like churchy praying for the global church. And then the second day was I didn't go. I can't remember what it was. And then today is the personal day. Yeah, like I'm, I'm feeling discouraged. I feel like, you know what Lord, like you are my strength. I am drawing my strength from the Lord this season. And also like, you know, my body's, I'm about to give birth. Um, Willis just had his operation. Um, yeah, I'm feeling a little bit discouraged because last night we had a, I jumped online and um, and we didn't want the video, like Willis's video to be used online for like media purposes and to make articles and things and um, Wales Online, they literally took the footage and they shared it without our consent. So um, rewinding a little bit, someone, a journalist, messaged me and was like oh we would love to use this footage i was like oh, i'll ask my husband well this was like i'm not going to sign and so then i went online and i saw that they had posted the video and then i went on the comments and i was just like oh my gosh this is what my husband was saying like he was just like i just wanted to know i feel like i'm quite naive in this area like what is this use to the backlash I, I, i'm not so I looked at the comments and I was reading them and I was just like, wow. I was like, okay, Lord, is this the territory that we're trading in? I was like, all right then. And I just, I don't know, like, I think just everything, just everything is like a little bit overwhelming. But, and so I just like, you know, rallied up a few of my closest friends, some of my friends from church. And I was just like, guys, pray for us. I was like, pray for me, like, because, yeah, so like, I found myself editing today. I could try editing today, man. Flip. And I was just like, all I could hear was just those, you know, th those words. And like, my poor Ato, like, she gets this face to face. Like, she gets people, like, all talking trash to her face about her dad. You know? And I'm just like, and I was just reading online. I was telling my husband, I was like, are you used to this? He's just like, yeah, I am. 
and I was just like, I'm not used to this. I was like, I am not used to this. I'm just like, what in the world? Like, what the heck? And he's just like, yeah, babe, I'm used to it. Oh my gosh, I don't like that. Like, I feel like it's just a little bit overwhelming because already, like, we're just going through a lot of changes. Um, and having to adapt to, like, you know, quite a few things. I, I now understand, like, why, why people don't say they're struggling because there's judgment on the other end. You know, like, I, I always, like, thought, like, why are people so closed off? Why don't people share? Why don't, you know, but now I'm like, oh, that's why people don't share. It's because they have, they get judged. And, like, I was just looking at the comments. Like, I just wanted to say today, like, regardless of what you go through, you, you could literally be worried or, or care about the littlest, finest detail. Like, say, for instance, you could care about... Um, the way you're parenting, um, you failing your report, and that is like something small or may seem insignificant to you or to other people. But man, I just really want to come with encouragement today and say that, like, whatever breaks your heart, like, God cares about that. God cares about it. Like, honestly, He's. <sighs> The love of God, his love is so gracious. Like if you go to, if you cry to him today about something, he's not going to say, oh, harden up. Or he's not going to say, oh, do you want my sympathy? Like he's not going to be like the world. He's not going to respond the way humans do, the way other people do. That He is so rich in grace and mercy. Jesus is so kind and so loving. And um, it says it in his word that he delights in the details of your life. That means that he cares about the intricate details of your life. And I just wanted to use the situation, turn it for good. Like, turn it for good. Like, yep, we're probably going to get hate. Probably going to get people saying, oh my gosh, it's so cringe. Or, oh my gosh, there's such attention seekers or whatever. But, man, I just know the Lord has called me to speak out to encourage to um you know humble myself because man like i've we've had to really die to ourselves to share this and to, to expose like our weaknesses and it just makes me think like um boast in your weaknesses you know it makes me think about that scripture and honestly this is me we are boasting in our weakness we're saying like man lord we are weak without you we need you and if you're a christian like you know how spiritual warfare works like if you're going to be sharing the gospel on uh you know a bigger platform or where there's a lot more exposure oh my gosh the enemy's not going to be happy with it the enemy's not going to be happy with it but it's so amazing because like i had a chat with my um brother and um he just got um ordained as a pastor and um he didn't even know like the lord knew way eh? the lord knew it was such a divine conversation because he says to me sanj <sighs> he was like sanj you know um don't retreat he reminded me he was like put on your armor put on your armor put on your breastplate of righteousness put on your helm of salvation pick up your sword pick up um your shield of faith um and it just reminded me like and i was just like yes yep yeah, yep yeah. like you know just being casual just like perceiving it and then this happened and i was just like oh okay and honestly like when you do go to like influence and speak and and walk in your authority and when you start to share the gospel share encouragement point people to jesus the enemy's not going to be happy about it and i guess like the enemy's not happy about it because the hate is just like damn okay huh oh yeah
<laughs> did you did you enjoy it? Yeah, I enjoyed it. Me it too. Was, Do you feel refreshed? Yeah. I think I've never been in the church like uh where I feel I feel like home, you know what I mean? I feel like I'm gonna come back for more. See? <laughs> I feel like my heart is like you need this is what you've been missing. This wow. is where you have to stay, honestly. This is how I feel like the vibe, like oh, it's it's just nice. I feel refreshed. You know, like leaving Willis at home with the girls, but also like they've gone to sleep after dinner. I feed them dinner and I feel refreshed. Refresh. I was like two hours. We were so exhausted, but it's like worth it. Oh, yeah. That like, refuels, encourages us to keep running the race. I was feeling so tired at home, but I think I'm just feeling so. You're gonna energized. sleep. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna sleep like a baby tonight. Yeah. I know I will. No. Um, so yeah i'm gonna we're gonna continue chatting about tonight but yeah i'll see you guys later hey guys so i just got home and man tonight was amazing i really needed it but i felt like you do feel kind of down like when you know especially in those times where it's just like where you're being stretched you know like i was like oh my gosh like he's just had his operation i'm about to give birth like our bodies are just like gonna be <laughs> struggling physically you know um but i just knew in my spirit like i was like nah i'm gonna go to church because i need it i need to be around like-minded people i need to be around faith stirred people i need to get into worship pray and and get alongside my like you know my church family and just like dig in right and so we did and it was powerful like we got to pray together we um got to pray for each other do some worship but then like during um like one of the worship songs my friend came up to me and shared a really encouraging um a really encouraging scripture about overcoming and to endure and to like keep walking through the season and to not give up he walked off and like literally right then and then the holy i just saw in a vision like i saw myself standing there on my own and then i saw like these massive like oh no honestly it was like it was like the holy spirit and he, he was like a giant and then like these flames off of his you know like this white garment it was like the holy spirit formed behind me jesus formed behind me the lord like god and then a whole army of angels stood behind me and it was like the lord reminded me that i'm not alone like he was like sandra i'm behind you and I think this week I've been like, yes, like my church family are standing with me. My friends are standing with me. My husband and my, 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 my like wee girls are standing with me. Like these are the people that are standing with me and everyone else that's been praying. And then like, I, I totally forgot like, yeah, the Lord is also standing with me. The Holy Spirit is standing with me. Jesus is standing with me. A whole entire army is standing behind me. Uh, all of heaven is standing behind me. And like, a, like it's like a switch went off and I was just like oh my gosh yes and and then I thought to myself why am I amplifying these little voices why am I amplifying this these voices like it's not giving life it's killing my faith and it's just like I needed to understand and remember like identifying like that's discouragement like these words are so discouraging and they do not feed my faith and when i walked in i was like lord i need to switch up like you need to switch something something needs to happen and now i just i feel like i'm walking with a bounce on my step i feel like i'm it's like i've remembered who i am but remembering also who's behind me like who was behind me and <clears throat> you know when like a person and a gang they stand on their own and you just catch them on their own they're quite timid but then you catch them with their gang and then all of a sudden like their chest is puffed out and they're walking with a lot more confidence i feel that way like i feel like i'm like oh my yes like heaven is behind me and so i don't know if you're going through like a battle if you're going through a stretching time if you're like really praying for something interceding for something really believing that you know the lord is going to move in your season but you're also struggling like just remember who was with you like who was with you in the fire and who was with you um who was with you in the season so yeah so good I feel amazing. I don't even feel like my husband just like 
get another operation. I feel amazing. I'm on top of the world right now, to be honest. I'm on top of the world.